Hey everyone, welcome back to our beginner tutorial on headphones. When we first jump into a room, some users find their relative position to be a bit confusing. To give a sense of your position, we like to turn on the world axis. We'll do that by pressing the blue hamburger menu button on your non-drawing hand. This will pull up the menu in whatever state it was in last. In this case, that's the environment tab. But if I click back to sketch aid on the top here, I can turn the world axis on with a simple click. Now I have a set of axes that show my origin and relative position in the sketch. Let's say that I want to drop a simple cube right here near the origin. First, I'm going to click the purple brush button on my non-drawing hand, navigate to the Shapes tab, and then Cube. When I double click on a tool, it will open a creation menu, but for now, I'll use the default cube tool. By holding both index triggers, I'll create a preview of my cube, and when I release these triggers, the cube will be added to the room. Like we went over in the last video, I'll change the color to a simpler blue for now. At this point, I can now move, edit, or adjust my object further. Another important tool in Gravity Sketch is lighting. In order to edit our lighting, we'll go back to the blue hamburger menu, navigate to the workspace, and use our flashlight. Using your selection sphere, you'll just grab the flashlight as if it were any other object in the room. This flashlight will affect the direction of light for the entire room, and when you release that side grip trigger, it'll lock that lighting in place. You'll notice when you release the flashlight, it stays in place. This can be helpful to edit your lighting later, but if its presence is distracting, you can grab the flashlight and delete it. This snaps it back to the original menu where you can go back and access it later. Another key tool is resizing the grab sphere. By moving the thumbstick up or down on your drawing hand, you can make your selection sphere larger or smaller. Now I'll grab my cube and delete it. If I did that on accident, I can undo by pressing this red button on my drawing hand. Clicking this multiple times will move you back in time. Alternatively, I can also use the thumbstick on my non-drawing hand to rotate that clockwise or counterclockwise to move forward or backward in time. Both of these methods essentially do the same thing, though personally, I'm a big fan of this history clock. To recap from our last video as well, we can grab the object, click on that color wheel, and change our material color or properties. In this case, let's turn it to gloss, and let's make it a little bit darker, lighter, change it to a different color. We have a lot of options here. And again, like we talked about last time, we can also change the transparency from the slider down below. But now that you know how to set up your sketch and some of the basics of creation, in our next video, we'll jump straight into sketching on some headphones. I'll see you guys in the next one.